Greetings students, hope you are well. This is mathematics. In this video, we are going to look at this question from 2018 General Certificate of Education GCE Paper 1. This is question 22A. Given a right angled triangle X, Y, Z where angle Z is 90 degrees and sine X is equal to 4 over 5. Find the value of cos X. The question is from a topic called trigonometry. So, you are told that given a right angled triangle, if it is not drawn for you, you have to draw it. Point number one. So you're going to draw a right angled triangle like this. When we say right angled triangle, it means it has got a 90 degree like that. Then start putting these letters here. Follow what they are talking about here. They are saying angle Z is 90 degree. So this is where Z is, which is it 90 degree. The moment you see this symbol, it means 90 degree. Meaning the other two now can be X and D, Y, like that. What next? They are saying, and sine X, this angle here, is equal to 4 over 5. That is the ratio. Now, remember, in a right angle triangle, the three sides have got names. Okay? Then line or the length that is opposite to 90 degree, meaning this one, which is the longest, is the hypotenuse, right edge there. Then the other two now, depending on where the angle is, one must be opposite, the other one should remain adjacent. So the angle is here, angle X, angle is here, meaning this one will be opposite, then this one adjacent. Label them in that manner. Now, we are told that sine x is equal to 4 over 5. Do you know where it is coming from? Sokator. It is coming from who? Sokator. Like this. Sine is here. Meaning, sine is always equal to opposite over hypotenuse. And this is exactly what we are going to substitute. Where there is O, we are going to put a 4. Where there is H, we put a 5, meaning the angle is here. Where there is O here, it is 4. Then H, it is 5. So this length is 5, this length is 4. Then we need to find this length here. How do we find this length? Think of the Pythagoras theorem. That is the one that you are going to use. Remember, in a right angle triangle, we only use two, which is it, Sokatoa and the Pythagoras theorem. So in this case, it will be Pythagoras theorem that we are going to use to find this length. How do we apply Pythagoras theorem? Well, you are supposed to say Pythagoras theorem, everything, all the three sides must be in square form. Okay, so here we want this length here, which is adjacent, right? So I can say, okay, I want adjacent. So it will be A squared is equal to the other two. Must also be in square form, meaning 5 squared, okay, and also 4 squared. Now in between here, there should either be a plus or minus. How do you know the correct sign to put here? Are you going to add or are you going to subtract? Well, you go back to the diagram. Check if you are calculating for the longest side, then there should be a plus here. But if it's not the longest side, if you are calculating for adjacent or opposite, then there should be a minus here. What are we calculating for? Adjacent, therefore a minus. If we are calculating for this, we could have used the plus here. Clear? Then I'll say, okay, A squared will be equal to, what is 5 squared? 25 minus 4 squared, 16. Then A squared will be equal to 25, take away 16. I'm going to get, what? 9. 
Okay, the need square root, introduce square root because you need to get rid of the square. So, introduce square root even on the other side, square root. Cancel this, your a now becomes what? Get the positive value, 3. So, this is it, 3. Now that we have all the three sides, we go back to the question. Find the value of cos c. So, we are now going to say cos c x will be equal to, remember, cos is coming from here. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. Substitute cos x will be equal to, what is our a? 3. What is our h? 5. Any questions? Bye-bye.